What's up, buddy? It's Counter HD here. Brands a brand new video today. I'll be breaking down divisional Saturday games. So we're going to do a half by half. And let's start with the Bengals' first half. So we saw Joe Burrow get absolutely abused by that defensive line. It, but yet they still have the lead going into half by three points. Nonetheless, though, it has been a very, very good performance by you know, the Cincinnati Bengals. They've managed to score three times. They've, they've been able to drive down the field. They just haven't been able to punch it in. So they've been doing good. And Derrick Henry, he's been kind of silent. But we all know he's going to have that big breakout run in the second half. It's just a matter of time when that comes. But the Titans are playing way better than anybody thought they were going to play. I am very impressed with that defense. That defense has gotten five sacks in one half. It's very impressive. Now, if their offense can find their footing and be able to put up more points, this game might go to Tennessee, but as of right now, it looks like Joe Burrow is going to still stay on top. I'll check in after the end of the game. That was a pretty good second half, I ain't going to lie. Now, not much change for the Bengals. They only they got their first touchdown, and they got the game-winning field goal, which was the field goals were the only things they were getting. But the Titans changed up their whole thing. They managed to get the run game going. They started passing well. And then Tannehill threw two interceptions. So, only one of his interceptions was not his fault. The other two, you, you really can't argue them. One was straight to him. The other one got tipped at the line and then caught by the same person. Like, Tannehill kind of choked this game. But Joe Burrow get in the pick with on the 44-yard line and gets in field goal range first play. Him and Jamar are just a lethal duo. To mention, though, McPherson, a rookie kicker, comes in. Needs a field goal to win the game and advance to the AFC Championship game. And what does he do? Nails it. As a rookie, no rookie kicker should be this good. No kicker in general. He's putting up such good stats as a rookie. It's insane. And the Bengals all around, they have such young guys who are just so good that it's one of those things where experience really doesn't matter. As long as they're just killing it like they have been, they won't. They won't need that experience. But without a doubt, the better team won this game. And you know what? I can't wait to see the Bengals play, hopefully, the Bills in the championship. But we'll find out right now. Uh, I'll see you all after the first half. Well, the first half of that game was nothing short of boring. I mean, 7-0, to zero, nothing really happened. One good drive. And then, out of nowhere, Jimmy Garoppolo decides to start playing like an actual quarterback. And the Niners got their stuff together. And they drove downfield. And they put up points. And then they did it again. And then they did it one more time. To kick a field goal and win. And beat the Packers at Lambeau. That is very surprising. If that is Aaron Rodgers' last game at Lambeau Field, that is very disappointing. He is a great player, and the fact that they're going to have to pick between him or Devontae is very sad. But nonetheless, though, it was a very, very terrible game until the fourth quarter. But you got to give props to the Niners. No one thought they could win, and you know what? They went out there and they won it. So they definitely surprised a lot of people. I was one of them, and... I I don't mind seeing it, but let's be honest, Niners aren't making it out the next round, so what's the point? Because you know Packers were going to compete, but now you just don't know anymore, especially with all their injuries and stuff, so I don't know. But I think we got two good games today. I mean, it was a pretty decently bad game, like I said, until the fourth quarter of that, and then things got interesting. But that Bengals game was pretty good all around. So, you know, can't really complain with today's games. But tomorrow, I guess we'll see who ends up going and who doesn't. 
But that's going to be the video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I upload daily content, so be sure to come back in. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Call out, fourth quarter shorty, no call outs. Don't go to work, baby, just call out. Uh, in the bedroom, all out. Perks on the counter, I can't wait to take them. Blunts on the counter, can't wait to face it. Bad little bitch, yeah, she be my favorite. All my songs, they all on their playlist. I don't really know how to say it, but I'ma say it. I don't really know if she take it, but she can take it. I don't slow it down unless I'm in the matrix. Presidential brain, that bitch like Sarah Palin.